Hi guys and welcome to the channel. I'm Marv. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is going to be your April 2024 number two. And it's going to be for the beautiful sign of Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Leo, everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective and in the pinned comment. If you're interested in booking a personal reading, Leo, you can do that at www.marvelousmadame.com. Some of you guys got the do not worry card that came out. I'm going to continue to set this up and I'm going to sit this out because it literally popped over. So that's what I'm going to give you. Um, Leo, please go to the website and book accordingly. Please um, be advised that the availability is updated, but it is going to be changing for the summer. So in about six weeks right now, tarot text readings as well as pre-recorded videos are always available 365 days out of this year. However, if you want a phone reading like some of you guys do, um, that those are twice a month. Um, so book accordingly. All right. We are going to go ahead and get into your angel answer reading. It's one of my favorite readings. I'm going to ask spirit to let me know what answers you need. And then I will be clarifying those answers. Okay. And I would add, add, I am going to ask that you stay and listen to the end for an important announcement moving forward. All right. This is for Leo. Thank you. So, of course, we led with do not worry. Everybody's getting take action. That's interesting. Okay. You led with no need to worry. The heart play shows take action. Two cards fell out. Actually, I'm going to put all three of these in. The situ Back in the deck. The situation will improve. Not the right time. And meditation brings answers. All fell out. I'm going to put all of these back in different parts of the deck. And shuffle a, more, a couple more times to get what I need. All right. Let's get into this. This is for Leo. One more shuffle. This is for Leo. Thank you. What's our last card? Thank you very much. Abundance. Beautiful. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leo, this is definitely something that um, I think gets the, the, the best of all of us, which is, you know, abundance is yours. If you're worrying about abundance or being abundant and you're leading with no need to worry, you're going through a transition right now. Something just happened possibly to rock your financial sector. There are some things that you want to do and you're trying to figure out how the hell you're going to do those. That doesn't, that is not surprising in this climate. Maybe you're thinking about leaving the job. Maybe you're thinking about, you know, le leaving a job, changing careers. Um, some of you I'm feeling may be worried about a living situation. How long do I stay here? When am I going to buy a house? You know, it's interesting, Leo, because I know with you guys, there is definitely an image and things that you want to do. You, um, as, as fixed fire, I have learned that you guys have a certain way of being or a certain way that you want to be, especially if there's air mixed up with this Leo energy this fixed fire energy so you probably have already idealized what you want to look like what things are like there is a certain way you want to appear and i completely understand that as a cap moon um especially my libra rising like you gonna respect me there i'm gonna carry myself like this and blah 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 one of the things though before we move on that i had to understand is is that no one is actually judging that i think we are our own biggest critics so you have to understand that whatever you choose, you chose it. It's yours. I don't care whether you complained about a job for the next 45 years, because at the end of the day, nobody can judge the fact that you're complaining about a situation that you're still in, because if you can't afford to leave it, you can't afford to leave it now. What happens is, is that with some of our fixed signs is that when we are, we become complacent within it. You have to know yourself. Please read up on your, on your zodiac sign. Find out what else is in your chart. Learn who you are. Don't get defensive about the stereotypes. 
because the zodiac stereotypes is nothing but pe people regurgitating what they've heard and you can't get mad at people's life observation of what how your sign acts but the bottom line is is that the people don't know every zodiac sign so i'm gonna tell you guys give you that advice to do that you have got to make some time and fill up your own cup and learn who you are all right because i find that some zodiacs gets caught up in you know what they don't want someone else to know you can't keep complaining about something to another person eventually that person is going to ask you what you're doing about it so keep that in mind there is and ironically i said that the next card is take action so again this is also telling you listen this is your life what action are you going to take in the heart place to bring forth these things that you are complaining about or you are acknowledging that you just don't like there's nothing wrong with that but again when you're telling another human being how you feel about something you can't get mad if a person is going to eventually want you want to know what type of action you are taking so whatever the stress is leo you're in control of it all right you are in control if you are the leo that that's not your story what i just got through saying spirit just is here to remind you that you still need to take an action and for the last three zodiac signs this card has come out actually i believe all four of them so pisces aries gemini if you're connecting with either one of them in some shape form or fashion take action has come out so you know there seems to be a common card and um that happens when when you read back to back like that and so i'm um, if the, if these people or zodiac signs don't have any bearing in your reading you have to take an action in your heart you already know what this action is you already know what you must do now you just got to do it you understand what i'm saying and once you do that, you get to your abundance. Let's get into these clarifiers because that's when you will get to your abundance. All right, this is for Leo. Thank you, spirit. So what came out is the Knight of Cups for no need to worry. Take action is being clarified by the Three of, of Wands, which makes sense. Abundance is being clarified. Here we go. There's a family story here, just like Gemini. So let's talk about this no need to worry is being clarified by this knight of cups for some of you guys um the romance the beautiful words the the word play the romance the um i'm pausing because i am imagining that is not just a single story for some of you guys meaning that this is a multi layered reading and only three cards some of you guys are worried that someone is going to come and sell you a dream and not treat you right others of you are worried that your life is lacking the romance that you think you need um and i'm gonna start putting recommended uh videos in here for you to get to know yourself and listen to some astrologers or some people on this platform that i trust to be able to tell you because i've learned that when i try to do it it sounds to depending on your zodiac sign it sounds like it's criticism so um or it can all i'm saying is is that there is a part of you guys that needs um this 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 feedback you need um um this validation um that you're not going to just waste away and there's not going to be someone there for you to love and i'm 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 choosing my words wisely because if no need to worry is being clarified by the knight of cups and there's nothing else there that 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 is is there a fear that there's going to be not someone that's going to give you this not going to be able to you know are you worried about like your mortality right now because the next card and how that and 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 also how that um how that relates to you know your family and your abundance and and so forth your your legacy take action being clarified by three wands you are right now 
trying to figure out what the future looks like. A lot of you guys are by yourself and this is for you and you want to know, are you going to get this night on this night in shining armor, whether this is a male or female, is this person going to come in that I can grow old with? Um, spirit is telling you not to worry, but spirit is also telling you to take action. So taking action in your heart is being clarified by three wands. So what are you going to do for forward movement? Do you have the foresight? Are you tapping into the foresight that is necessary um, and so you can lay down the groundwork to make these changes in your life? Uh, case in point, um, you're a person that has hell bent and made their mind up that they're not going to online date yet in your town or based upon the what did you what you do and how you live your life and the fact that you already worked and who in the hell, how are the hell are you going to meet somebody, right? That would be a example of in your town or based upon maybe you're not a social person you don't feel um, comfortable and that's not all leos but i'm just saying so an example of taking action would be to go out and be social to you know but in some in some small towns that's hard to do you may find yourself you know dating somebody several towns or a couple hundred miles away but maybe that's what you have to do because if that situation changes your life, then you may end up moving in with your love or by going away on these long weekends to go and see this person has instantly gave you a new meeting in your life. Just saying. So that's just a really, you know, um, bare bones type of example. Then we have abundance and abundance is here being clarified by 10 pentacles, which means abundance. So. There seems to be an energy around love and money makes sense. And this is basically telling you to take action in something. And it may not be what you want to take action in. But if you want this romance, you're going to have to put some work in. I know it's harder for the fixed signs because we have our mind made up on how things are supposed to go. But that's just based on the experiences that we have experienced thus far. If we cut ourselves off to experiencing new things, then how in the hell are we going to get out of the rut that we're in? I don't care what your zodiac sign is. That is a people rule. So if I hate online dating, which I do, but I'm single and I feel like I want to meet a person, you never know what you're going to get. You know, you have to put the work in, take breaks from online dating, you know, take some breaks. You're going to go through a whole bunch of crazy people, but not everybody on there is crazy. You know, so um, for others of you, you're worried about work. Um, you're worried about work and your job. Um, I'm going to say the same thing. Take action. If you're unhappy, look for a new job. If you listen, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to close it out. I asked my life coach coach instructor a couple of years ago we had to come to class I tell the story all the time I said I wanted to improve my communication with somebody what was the you have to come to class with a with with the problem guys right really quick I went to class I went to back to, you know to class with this problem and this was one of the techniques that he taught he taught us he said okay Marv what's your problem I told him I wanted to improve communication with an individual. He said, okay, tell me about the communication with this individual. I told him, he said, okay, well, it sounds like that person needs a lot or tons of validation. I wouldn't even let him finish. I said, I'm not validating this person. He said, well, you don't want to improve communication with the person. So I know that it is hard to wrap your head around that. But if you have already refused of what you're not going to do, then Nothing's going to improve. And that's just the bottom line. You're not going to take action on something that you're not going to do. So it's, it's, it's a waste of time talking to you. And I know it's harder for the fixed sign. So this is where I'm going to leave it. No need to worry. You have to take action. And then the abundance that you want will come into your life. Looking back at me at the top of the deck is the queen of, of, of swords and the knight of wands. All right, taking action. What is our dilemma? So the queen of swords is very, very prominent here telling me that you have attracted folks to you that thought that they can play games. That's the problem. And this is, is, is like I said, it's multi-layered. So I'm going to read the cards. Take it as it resonates, right? 
But this three of wands is going back to this knight of knight of wands. And I feel like it's hard to take action because in the past you have attracted individuals who have not been the most honest. That's the problem. You can't, you don't, you don't want to take action and altering the way that you look at the situation because you feel that you will be doing yourself a disservice by allowing the same old person to come into your life and excuse my language screw you over so you have to take action on that part and understand that this knight of wands who was the playboy or playgirl of the deck that came in and altered your experience to make you now look at everybody that's a knight of wands the same way and i couldn't have said it better with the whole dating app scenario because you, there's not going to be a knight of wands Everybody that's on their dating is not a knight of wands. It may be that the person that you're looking at just you want a certain type of individual. Again, if you're not willing to alter this area of your life, then you don't really want it. That's I mean, that's just the simple. If like I like he told me, I said, nope, I'm not validating this person. He said, well, you don't want to improve communication with them because if you want to improve something, you have got to change this on the back end. And if you're not going to change it, then how can you really say that you want it? And I know there's a lot of individuals that don't buy into that, but it's so simple. Let's wrap it up. There are no major arcanas here. None. So I think that this is an issue where it, you're going round and round, but I do feel that the most prominent energy here is this Ten of Pentacles. So congratulations on this abundance, but there's no need to worry. And, and I want you to receive that. Just keep doing what you're doing and taking it one day at a time. I do believe that this is multi-layered and there are so many other things that I can get into, but we're going to end it right here. And if you've lasted this long, Leo, thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. Going forward, I'm going to do the collective readings on this channel and I'm only going to give two readings, which is a one and two. Three and four are any bonus videos moving forward starting in the month of May will be uploaded on my uh, website exclusively, www.marvelousmadame.com. If there is anything that will be extended, I will have those extended extensions for purchase. They are coming back and making their way back around now. So that is what we're going to see. If you don't worry, you don't have to worry about remembering that. Anything that I have to offer you will be on my website and I will be advertising it when it is available. Thank you so much, Leo, and I will see you in May.